Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We do a lot of exhaust videos here at CJ's because exhaust is without a doubt one of the most popular modifications Mustang owners make and many times it's also the first modification. While lately many of these videos have been on the 2015 Mustang, we haven't forgot about the older model such as this new edge convertible behind me. This car belongs to my videographer who's tired of the drone from a current exhaust system and wants something a lot more aggressive sounding. So today we're going to install this Borla S-Type Stinger catback on his 2001 Mustang convertible. This Borla S-Type Stinger catback is going to fit your 1999 through 2004 Mustang GT or your 2003 through 2004 Mustang Mach 1. It's made completely of T304 stainless steel and features mandrel bent 2.5 inch piping, going through a set of the Stinger mufflers and adding a set of Borla's 4 inch polished stainless steel tips. The kits can include necessary clamps for insulation and will reuse some factory hardware. For this installation, you'll need a lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet, 9 16 socket, 15 millimeter socket, half inch wrench, 9 16 wrench, exhaust hanger removal tool, small hammer, sawzall, and safety glasses. The first step to remove the existing exhaust is going to be a two-step process and it's going to vary depending on whether it's an original exhaust or an aftermarket. Given these cars ages, many of them are going to have aftermarket exhausts already on them. The first step regardless is to disconnect the front pipes from our H-pipe. The second step is to remove the tailpipes. If it's an original system or a welded aftermarket system, you'll have to cut. Some aftermarket systems will have bolt-on things, but more than likely you're going to end up cutting back here and you disconnect and unbolt up there. In our case, we're going to cut first, but before we did that, we sprayed some penetrating lubricant on the nuts and bolts up here. As you can see, one's broken already. There's a good possibility you might break these studs taking this exhaust system apart. It's a good idea to either have a spare set of studs, or it's easier, go out and buy some nuts and bolts, and that way you can connect a new pipe to the older pipe and get rid of the studs, make it a lot easier and a lot cleaner. The easiest place to cut the tailpipe is going to be right here behind the muffler. We're going to slide it forward off the rear hanger and remove. Now we're going to work on the bolts that hold the mid pipes to our H pipe. So don't be surprised if these do break. Sometimes you get lucky, and a lot of times they will snap. Like I said earlier, some of these bolts might be really hard to get off, and if they are, sometimes the easy thing to do is simply get a saw, just cut it in the middle, take the nuts and bolts off, the factory studs I mean, and put nuts and bolts on to hold the new exhaust in place. Now the hardware either cut or removed, we can remove the mufflers and the rear pipes. They may need a little bit of encouragement to come off. There's going to be two hangers back here you have to remove. You want to grab the muffler and the tailpipe assembly. They are labeled left and right. Make sure you grab the correct one. Start by putting it up over the rear axle. I'm going to work into the factory rear hangers. I'm going to take a clamp and put it over the tailpipe we just installed. Grab one of the front flange assemblies, which are not size specific. I'm going to put that up into place. You can see we installed some new hardware on our original pipe. Okay, leave that loose for now and repeat the process on the other side. And grab the tailpipe extension with a tip. Again, they are size specific. 
Make sure to put the clamp on first. Put it up in the rear hanger. And then repeat the process on the other side. Now you put the clamps up in place and you tighten everything down. I'll move up front. We're going to tighten the clamps here between the factory pipe and our Borla. Make sure you tighten these evenly so you don't get a leak. Those tight, now we can tighten up the clamps. And double check your final adjustment and your installation is finished. The Boral S-Type Stinger looks great, fitment was spot on as usual, now let's see how it sounds. I've heard this style muffler before with different setups, it's a lot deeper than I thought it would be, it's got a really nice deep rich tone. The Borla S-Type Stingers have a much deeper tone than I expected them to be. I guess I'm used to this muffler in more of a rear mount behind the axle kind of setup. Moving them forward like you would on the SN95 or Fox Body cars really deepens the tone of the muffler. I mean, it's got a nice aggressive tone to it when you get on it, but it's got a nice deep sound to it too. And of course, typical of all Borla, you know, you put it on the highway and you're cruising, you barely hear it. You're not getting any kind of a drone, any kind of a negative sound. Give it some gas, I mean, you can hear it's back there, but no drone whatsoever. Something we were really coming to expect with Borla's exhaust systems. Hey, going through the gears, it's got, again, that deep tone when you first get on it. As you climb the higher RPMs, you do get a little more of that aggressive, I don't want to call it raspy because it really is, but more of that aggressive kind of tone you'll hear from other Borla's. But just cruising speeds, yeah, nice and clean, deep sound, really cool sound. Here we are, highway speeds, right around 2,000 RPM, you know, the dreaded drone zone for a lot of mufflers. And like I said, nothing. Don't even hear that they're back there. You can easily cruise down the highway, have a conversation, have no problems at all. You really can't go wrong with the Borla exhaust system. I'm running Borla's on my 2015 Mustang, and as you can see, they look great and fit great on the older models as well. They have a nice aggressive sound. Installation, as far as that goes, probably figure an hour and a half to two hours tops. Be back on the road in no time.